this wonderful life you've blessed us with, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. You are our healer, your provider. Oh, we praise you, Father.
Jesus, you are our love, Father. You are the focus of our heart, Father. We found a love that is greater than any other in this world. Yes. And we praise you. Yeah.
Jesus. Woo. Wonderful to be here tonight. Yeah. Great to be in church. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah. Now, let's do that again. Just let the Lord bless you. Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your work at Calvary. You died to set us free. We receive it all in Jesus' yeah. name. Woo. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Thank for the Lord. ministry of the Holy Ghost. He's taken up residence in us, working through us to accomplish your will and purpose in the earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Go ahead and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Wonderful to be here tonight. Welcome to church. Okay, I'm going to send you on a campaign. Uh, see if you can find about five people that you have not yet greeted. Love and bless on those five people. Tell them it's a great thing you're here tonight. And then have a seat. Good evening, everybody. Glad to see you all here. Please don't let me and my voice stop you from fellowship. And I just want to say, hey, let you know that we're glad you're in church tonight. Amen. Good. You know, it really is. <clears throat> it really is a special thing to be able to come and fellowship together in the presence of God. Um, so the reason why you're enjoying it is because God keeps his promises. Amen. And uh, we have a good time in church, right? Good, good. So I'm excited that y'all are here. I'm glad to be here. So praise God. Well, we just want to take a quick moment and uh, welcome all of our first time visitors that may be in the room. Uh, so if you're in the room or visiting us online, we just want to say hello. We're glad you're here. And let's give a big, loving, warm hand clap for everybody. <clears throat> and um, if you are visiting for the first time online, we're glad that you found the stream. But we do want you to know that there's a special place here in the church for you, your family and anyone, you know. Amen. So please feel compelled to come. We love you and we'd be glad to see you. Um, now, of course, tonight um, we're going to go through some announcements for the church um, and any and all of the information we share with you can be found on our church website, faithlandmarks.org. Um, so don't uh, feel like you need to memorize everything or hurry up and write it down. You can always visit our church website to find out more information regarding specific events. Praise God. Um, and one of those things being that on our church website, you can become a member. So we have our, our membership our new membership class uh, available on online on the church website, but we have one coming up Sunday, October the 20th. So if this is uh, a, your first time being at church and you've decided to become a member of Faith Landmarks directly after the second service, we'll have a new members class on site for you. Uh, just so you can get a little bit more information about the vision of the church and get a little bit more acclimated to things. Praise God. So we're thankful for that. Um, we also have job openings. So if you're looking for a new job, uh, the church is offering in several areas. Uh, we've got a team lead assistant position that's available. Um, we've got a office assistant for our fully accredited school, Faith Landmarks Academy. That it's open our daycare, which is awesome up and running, um, but we need some more help uh, teachers uh, roles that are open as well. So please visit the website for more information on those areas. Um, our service attendants have copies of our Bible reading sheet um, available. So the month of September is not over with. So please uh, don't stop reading your Bible. Don't put it down. So make sure that you grab one of these to keep you encouraged and in the loop with the church as far as Bible reading is concerned. Amen. And then, of course, our service attendants also have offering envelopes. So if you have not gotten a chance to grab one of those, you can raise your hand and they'll give you one. Praise God. All right. So we're going to go through some really fun events. September is rolling, to say the least. We've got a lot of stuff coming up, but we're excited about it all. Um, so hopefully you find something to be a part of, if not everything, because I, f I believe in Jesus name that you're going to want to be a part of every single thing. And I uh, just enjoy it all. Amen. So the Ladies Fellowship this Friday night has their refreshing Bible study with Pastor Bonnie Huffman. 
that's going to be awesome. Um, so don't miss out. There's no registration needed. Um, and we would love for you and any other women or young ladies that you know to come. Um, these are events that uh, this one in particular does not have a registration. So invite everybody you can think of. Uh, what you should do is you should put together a real big group chat and just send Friday night, meet me at this address and see who shows up. Amen. That's a good idea. <clears throat> Don't be mad at me if, if, if they start texting you and all that other stuff. I just gave you the idea. Amen. Um, so anyway, that's going to be fun. FLBI, which is our Bible school here at the church, uh, is an open enrollment. All of our classes are online, uh, so you can go at your own pace and take your Bible school courses, which is awesome to get deeper in the Word of God. Amen. So if you are looking for that, that is available for you. Um, we have a recreation basketball league that is up and running right now. We had two open gyms, and we've got a league coming up September the 17th. Um, just so that you know, we had a really big turnout this past Tuesday. And uh, nine people got saved. Amen. So that's awesome. Um, so again, these are opportunities that you might not be playing the basketball, but you can invite people to come play basketball. They'll hear about Jesus, accept him as Lord, and their life will be changed forever. Amen. So there you go. Uh, the Ladies Fellowship is also having a Christmas trip uh, to Pennsylvania, which is going to be awesome to see the Sight and Sound David uh, show. So that, that's going to be cool. Um, that's December the 5th and 6th. So we still have spots available. Uh, so if you're interested, please make sure you register for that because the women always have a great time. They come back with really cool pictures, cool stories, uh, and it's lots of fun. Faith and Mark's Ministerial Fellowship has a fall cookout with Reverend Ron Bruce, which is going to be awesome. Uh, we're looking forward to that. That's September the 21st. That's next Saturday. So make sure you mark it on your calendars. We're going to have food fellowship, a time of war, a time in the word of God. So it's going to be really cool. So you don't want to miss out on that either. FLM Healing School is starting this Sunday. Uh, now, that's really cool. Praise God. Um, so this will be a time again just for you to be encouraged in the word of God. I mean, there are people that you know all around you who need to hear these truths, the truth that God's will is for us to be healed. Amen. So please don't hesitate to invite people to this. Uh, there's no cost involved at all. You just come and get fed and it's going to be awesome. Amen. So that's going to be on Sundays at 5 p.m. in the prayer room, which is directly out of door nine. If you're in the sanctuary with us tonight. The young adults are going to the state fair, which is going to be a really fun time. So if you know any young people that need something to do on the 27th, we'll be headed out there to hang out and fellowship together. How many of you like going to the state fair? I love going to the state fair. It's lots of fun. I like it because it's lots of people and everybody, for the most part, is smiling. <laughs> At least from a distance. I mean, you don't know what they're doing from afar, but they look like they're smiling and having a good time. So that's if it's worth anything to you, praise God. Neighborhood Blitz uh, is a moment for us to share with the local communities around us to let them know that we're here. Believe it or not, dis despite how big the church is, a lot of people might not know that the church is here or exactly what we're doing. So you think it's just going out and saying hello, but really it's a divine appointment set up by God to meet people and invite them and their families to church. Um, so that's going to be happening uh, Saturday, September 28th uh, at 10 a.m. So you just come to the church and we'll meet and give you all the logistics you need for you to go out, get with a team and share the good news um, that pe to people that we're here and want to uh, spend time with them. Water baptism, our next service is going to be Sunday, September 22nd. Uh, so if you have not been baptized in water since you've been saved, this is your opportunity to. So don't miss out. Or even if you know someone that maybe has been looking for an opportunity to get baptized, um, all they have to do is direct them to our church website. All the registration that's needed is right there. Contact information. So that's always a good time as well. Uh, we've got our all church chicken lunch this Sunday after the second service. That's going to be a good time. Um, and as you see, our picture looks really delicious. So that should encourage you to come. Yeah. Actual chicken. Yeah. Yeah. We're eating chicken at the chicken lunch in case anybody was wondering. Fried and baked, hopefully give you some options. But even if you don't eat the chicken, you should still come. <laughs> Y'all are great. I love being in church. I love you guys. Kidstown camp meeting. Uh, we need some help. We need about 25 to 30 workers to help pull off our mission possible. So we, in order for us to accomplish the mission, we need your help. Uh, the Kids Town Camp meetings and all of our Kids Town events are always a great time and tons of kids accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. So it, keep that in the back of your mind. It's not just babysitting. It's a time in the presence of the Lord uh, for people to get filled up by the presence of God. Amen. 
So please, if you can be a part of that, you don't have to help the whole week. Even if you can help a single night, it would be so beneficial. And with that, the last announcement is, is that camp meeting 2024 is coming up. So that's going to be really exciting. Um, so mark your calendars. It's in the evening. So none of you have an excuse to miss church. Don't miss camp meeting because it's going to be a great time. Praise God. Church family, we love you guys and we're so glad you're here. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you, Spencer. Glory to God. God is good. Okay, going to ask you to do it again if you would, please. Uh, stand to your feet and just bless the Lord. Let him touch you. This might be a new thing for you. But you as a believer, you need to understand he uh, loves you. And it's a love that's hard for people to comprehend. Yeah, he, he likes you. He loves you. Yeah, and he's, he's putting up with you now. He's willing to keep putting up with you. He, he's never going to stop. He's not going to quit. He's not going to get mad at you. He's not going to stomp out on you. Hallelujah. That's right. Yeah, just go ahead and bless him. Yeah, he loves you just the way you are. Now, you know, you uh, can let him change you, but... I mean, he, he accepted you and bought you with his work at Calvary in the condition that you were previously. Hallelujah. You didn't have to get dusted up. You didn't have to become something else. You just accepted him, and he's the one who begins the change process. Let's do this again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, just by coming into his presence, you will be changed. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Okay. Hallelujah. So, uh, wow. If you can remember which direction you went last time, I want to ask you, if you would please, go the opposite direction. See if it's possible to find another five people that you have not greeted yet. Love and bless on those five people. Tell them, wow, it's a great thing you're here tonight. And then have a seat. Thank God for his grace. He's the God who is more than enough. Praise you, Jesus. That was a good place to say amen. I hope you didn't miss it. Thank God for his grace. There's a verse in 3 John. Sounds like this. 3 John verse 2, it says, Beloved, I wish, or you could say it, I pray above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospereth. Hallelujah. Thank God for his grace. Now, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't get an offering envelope, so I'm, I'm going to have to ask one of our uh, service attendants if they would uh, hand me one so I can I like to use it as a oh there we go oh thank you is that yours no, sir. sorry okay oh it's mine now okay <laughs> praise the Lord okay so if you uh, manage to make it into the room and uh, yeah see this we did the briefing uh, one of our brothers right here was a part of the briefing and they they took everything that I had So that's the reason why we don't do that, because I, I, I have these things for a reason. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God for his grace. Well, I'm, I'm glad to be here tonight. How about you? Okay, so if you need one of these envelopes for your giving, for your tithing tonight, just lift your hand and we'll be glad to put one of these in your hand. Hallelujah. Thank God for his grace. I want to read this to you again. I pray above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. So your soul is prospering in him. And that's talking about the inner man, which is comprised of your spirit and the soulish man. Hallelujah. God is good. Okay, so uh, I'm going to ask you if you would please, uh, you might still be working on your offering, but whatever form it is, if you would please stand to your feet.
Glory to God and just lift it. Maybe it's just your hand up before the Lord and say this with me. Heavenly Father, I believe your word. I'm acting on it by faith. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your great and precious promises that you have released to me in the new covenant. I accept and receive all the freedom that belongs to me in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being made poor that I might be made rich. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for abundance in my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for pouring out abundance through the open windows over my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.